Hi, I'm registered dietitian and chef Abby Gelman, and today I'm showing you how to make homemade jerk seasoning, which we do a lot in the teaching kitchen at SBH. So it's a bunch of dried spices that we just mix together, and then we use it for a bunch of different recipes and dishes. So you can see on our plate here, a lot of different colors, a lot of different beautiful spices. So I'm just gonna take a walk around the plate and we'll talk about what we've got. We have onion powder, garlic powder, ground ginger, dried thyme, black pepper, cinnamon, allspice, paprika, nutmeg, and cumin. In the middle here, we have some dried red pepper flakes. We have some dried chives and we have a little bit of sugar. So what we're gonna do is just mix everything together into our spice blend. So let me grab a thing. I did this on a plate so that you could really see all the different beautiful colors and spices we are going to use. But generally you could just mix this all together very easily in a bowl. And if you notice, I did not use salt. So in the teaching kitchen, we make our own spice blends like this jerk seasoning, and we generally do not include salt. And we'll add a certain amount of salt when we're actually cooking the recipe that uses those seasonings. So if we have someone, for example, that needs to have, be on a low sodium diet, we know there's no salt in here. If we have someone who's able to eat a regular amount of salt, we can add a regular amount of salt to our recipe. And then you can put this in an airtight container and keep it in a cool, dry place and it'll stay good for months. So you make a bigger batch like this and then you generally use about one to two tablespoons at a time per recipe if you're looking at something that's maybe two, four or six servings. So there you go, this looks beautiful. I'm gonna move this into a container and keep it on my counter to use all week long for the next few months. So once again, I am registered dietitian and chef Abby Gelman. This is our homemade jerk seasoning from the SBH Teaching Kitchen. And if you wanna learn more about us or cook with us, head over to sbhteachingkitchen.org. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.